So friends, Donald's desperation is really showing. He's using a tactic that he's used before. I know what I'll do. I'll sue the judge presiding over my trial, and that will put a stop to my case. Well, you know what? That tactic has failed before, and it will fail again. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Donald Trump and his lawyers have once again reached into their dirty little playbook to try to put a stop to Donald Trump's first criminal trial presently set to begin on April 15th. Let's start with the new reporting. This from the New York Times. Headline, Trump to sue judge in last ditch attempt to avert Manhattan trial. And that article begins, Donald Trump, a week away from standing trial in Manhattan on criminal charges that he falsified records to cover up a sex scandal, has indicated he plans to file a lawsuit against the judge overseeing the case. The lawsuit was not immediately made public, but court records showed on Monday that Mr. Trump was filing an action against the judge, Juan Mershon, in an 11th hour bid to delay the case. An online court docket where Mr. Trump is filing the action showed that the related paperwork was sealed. Two people with knowledge of the matter said that Mr. Trump's lawyers on Monday planned to file the action calling on an appeals court to delay the trial and to challenge a gag order that Justice Mershon recently imposed on the former president. The order prevents Mr. Trump from attacking witnesses, prosecutors, and the judge's own family. Mr. Trump's unorthodox move, essentially an appeal in the form of a lawsuit, is unlikely to succeed, particularly so close to trial. And the appeals court might act fast to reject it. A single appeals court judge will most likely issue a preliminary ruling on Monday setting up a full five-judge panel to consider Mr. Trump's request in the coming days. Lawsuits against judges are unusual, but this is not Mr. Trump's first attempt to use that tactic to try to delay a trial. Last year, he sued the New York judge presiding over his civil fraud trial, Judge Ngoron, an effort the appeals court ultimately rejected. You know, friends, this nonsense Suing the judges that are presiding over your cases is a contemptible abuse of the court system. You know, you can probably survey a hundred experienced criminal prosecutors and criminal defense attorneys and ask them, have you ever had a case where the defendant sued the judge presiding over his or her criminal trial, filed that suit literally within days of the scheduled start date of that trial. Ask 100 experienced practitioners if they ever had a case where that happened. And I would bet, I wouldn't bet much, because you may, may have heard me say before, I am not a gambling man. I'm not a high roller. One dollar is my betting limit. Well, you know what? I'll put the full buck on all 100 criminal prosecutors and criminal defense attorneys saying, um, no, I've never had that happen before. Why? Because it's a gross abuse of the system, of the process. Now, am I at all concerned that a New York appeals court might delay Donald Trump's trial because he is now suing the judge who's presiding over his criminal case? Ordinarily, I would say, no, I'm not concerned because I know how the system is supposed to work, the court system, the criminal justice system, but I can't say it's been working as it is designed to work. What did we see recently from a New York appeals court? We saw a trial court judge 
Judge N. Goron, rule that Donald Trump committed massive fraud and the judgment that was entered against Donald Trump was for $464 million, excluding the daily $111 of interest that is accruing each and every day. And Donald Trump said, that's too much. Can't put it up, won't put it up. What did a New York appeals court do? Without any analysis, without any explanation, and without so much as citing a single case of authority, case law, supporting its decision, it reduced Donald Trump's amount, the amount he had to put up, um, he had to get a bond for, from $464 million to $175 million. Again, without explanation. That was a gut punch to the notion of the equal application of the laws. It was a gut punch to justice. So am I 100% confident that the New York Appeals Court will dismiss Donald Trump's latest effort to delay the commencement of his criminal trial, set to begin on April 15th, that they'll just laugh it out of court, summarily deny it, both the single judge and the full five-judge panel? Boy, I sure as hell hope so. That's absolutely what they should do. And we all know why. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.